Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving Hooke's Law. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, it's that way you'll be able to apply what we learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says to describe what is meant by simple harmonic motion. Well remember from the notes, we can say that simple harmonic motion or SHM is the repeated motion of an object under the influence of an unbalanced force, i.e. a restoring force. And the crucial thing that you need to remember to include is that the restoring force always acts towards the equilibrium position and is proportional to the object's displacement. And a typical example would be a mass on a spring. Question 2 says a mass of 200 grams is hung on the end of a 40 cm spring, causing it to stretch to 50 cm in length. Determine the spring constant K. Well, the first thing we need to realise here is that the force is given by the weight of the mass. So let's write down what we know from the question. We're trying to find the spring constant K. We know that the mass is 200 grams, which is the same as 0.2 kilograms. The displacement Y of the spring from its equilibrium position will be given by the 50 centimetres which it's stretched to, minus the 40 centimetres which was its original length, which gives us 10 centimetres difference, which is the same as 0.1 metres. And remember, gravitational field strength on Earth is given by 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So writing down our equation for Hooke's law, we have F equals minus KY, where we're using Y for displacement because the object is moving vertically up and down, rather than side to side. And because we said the force is given by the weight of the mass, then we can rewrite F as equal to the weight, which remember is given by W equals mg. So we can write mg here is equal to minus ky, and then substituting in our numbers, we have 0.2 times 9.8 is equal to minus k times 0.1. Now if we want k on its own, we can divide both sides by minus 0.1, and then if you put that into your calculator, we should get an answer of k is equal to minus 19.6 newtons per meter. And I've put the negative sign in brackets because it's not really important here. Lastly, question 3 says, using Newton's second law and the equation for SHM, which is A equals minus omega squared Y, show that omega squared is equal to K over M for an oscillating spring. Well, remember Newton's second law, first of all, that is F equals MA, and for an oscillating spring, we can use Hooke's law, which says F equals minus KY. So if we equate our two expressions for the force F, then we end up with MA is equal to minus KY. And so rearranging this for A, we can divide both sides by M to get A equals minus K over MY, and then comparing this to the equation for SHM, which we were given in the question A equals minus omega squared Y, then hopefully you can see we have A on the left hand side, and then we have Y on the right hand side, and then we have this negative K over M term where the negative omega squared term is. And that means by comparing these two, it's hopefully clear that omega squared is equal to K over M. And that means if you wanted to calculate angular frequency omega, then you would need to do the square root of k over m, i.e. the spring constant divided by the mass. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.